Hello and welcome to Always an Escrow with Serena Appel and Colby Burchin. Hello, Colby. Hey, Serena, how are you? Oh, I'm feeling really glam today because we are speaking and so honored to have our award-winning Brittany BB Desire Martin from WeTV's hit reality show, Super Sized Salon. BB is the owner and CEO of BB Desire Glam, a destination for the best in beauty with a mission to celebrate the unapologetic woman through empowerment, education, and engagement while uniting people and brands. She is inspiring professional beauty artists with her new Bridal Glam Beauty concept and a new partnership with GlassPass will provide members in South Florida with access to select BB Desire Glam services. BB, welcome to our show. Thank you. Hi, guys. (laughs) I'm I'm super excited, Serena, because I was introduced to BB through a mutual friend of ours, Kiana. I'll give you a shout out, Kiana. Thank you so much. (laughs) BB, I... I'm really excited to have you on the show because I feel like makeup is essential for so many people. And, you know, women are always looking for someone that go to and you are it. So everyone talks about you. So I'm super excited to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you guys, both of you so much for having me. I'm equally as excited. So what is BB Desire Glam? So BB Desire Glam is a custom luxury one-stop shop for all your beauty desires. Um, So in concept, it was a safe place that was created um, for women, men, everybody from different walks of life um, who just wanted to have a safe space where they could come without judgment, without feeling like they had to show up and be a certain way, but they could get all of their glam services done. Women will probably understand me more on this um, than anyone else, but we spend so many hours in our month or in our week having different beauty professionals, right? So you have your brow girl, you have your hair person, you have your lash person, and we make all these different appointments to go to these different people who specialize in these different things because they're usually all spread out in a different place. And so the concept was to have one house where there was, you could find your specialty in each different category where you could just come and spend that moment and that day and live it up like VIP and get catered to and get all your services done one place, one time. Genius. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. So what made you open a beauty bar salon? What inspired you? It's so crazy to tell people I was working corporate, actually. (laughs) I was working corporate for seven years. um, And I was in a completely different field, nothing like this. And um, I was bored out of my mind. I was like, I was making great money. Um, I created a great lifestyle, but I was just like, this is not fulfilling. There has to be more that I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I I just felt like a robot and um, I ended up having flexibility where my corporate position allowed me to start working um, from home, from wherever I wanted to. And I was like, oh, this is great. I'm going to like come up with a hobby is what I had planned in my mind. Like, I'm just going to find something else to do to fit into my schedule. And I ended up in beauty school. And um, I went to beauty school in Boca. And so I was like working, I was like getting up in the gym and committing to being healthier. And then I would like go do my nine to five. And then I would leave right from there and go straight to school. And that was kind of like my life. And once I fell in love with just like the process of everything I learned in school, it was one of those situations where I just couldn't go back. It was like, I realized I was so fulfilled over here. And just the concept of like, meeting different people all the time, hearing their stories, being a part of their stories, watching the transformation from people like, you know, when you just had a rough week and you walk in and you're like, girl, I need my hair wash. I need my, or I just, I'm going to an event. I've been beat down. The kids are stressing me out. My man, I'm ready to divorce him. Like, it's just so much we carry on our plate as women. And they would walk in one way (laughs) and to see the transformation and how they walk out like, it's like, 
I'm ready to now go conquer the world again and to go show up as this superwoman. And I just, there wasn't a better feeling for me than than being able to be a part of that. I had never planned to have my own salon or beauty space, but I just say God works in mysterious ways. I think it was just like a plan that kind of got, it, it happened to me and for me so that I could provide a space for other people. It's so incredible. Um, so what sets BB Desire Glam apart from other salons? First and foremost, it's that it's about the experience, right? And everything in BB Desire Glam is custom. So sometimes you'll see, um, and this is this is no shade. Everybody has their own thing that works for them. But sometimes you'll see where people can just walk in off the street and stop in and get serviced. Um, we are appointment only because it is to create a certain environment and experience. Um, you'll also see sometimes that there's just like standard services and no matter who you are, no matter what you're looking for, like you have this limited service and you get you pick off that menu and it's done the exact same way for every single person. That is not what happens um, in BB Desire Glam. There are different select services from a menu, but everything in that menu that you select gets custom tailored to you. And so it's not something that I can even tell you about before you come in. You might you might look at the list and say, hey, I want the picture perfect glam service. Perfect. But when you get in, the first part of your service is a consultation because we're going to figure out how to customize that service to your specific needs, your specific skin, your specific event, um, your preferences, like everything is custom tailored. And so for me, I was like, when I'm spending the type of money that we spend in the beauty industry, I want to feel like Beyonce. Like I want to, I don't, I don't got Beyonce money, but I want to feel like Beyonce. You know, I want to walk in, I want champagne handed to me. I want people dolling all over me. I want to feel like it's solely about me. I don't want to feel like I'm in a swap shop of 75 people. I can't hear myself think. Everybody's so busy that it seems like I'm just in the way. Like I didn't want that experience at all. And so I feel like that's the that's the one thing I pride myself in on that. You're going to come in and you you almost feel like the salon was shut down for you. Um regardless of your service because we strategically only allow a certain amount of people can even book a service for a certain amount of times because I want it to feel intimate. I want it to feel luxury. I want you to feel like it's all about you because it is. Well, it definitely sounds it. I want to hear a little bit more about your services. Tell us about that experience. Just go into a little bit more detail. I mean, the the opportunity to kind of just spend the day, right? Spend the day with you and, you know, get all glammed up from head to toe. Tell us tell us how how one kind of a, uh, one kind of appointment could look. The great thing is also, I would say that anyone who works with BB Desire Glam is a licensed professional. And although that should be the case across the board, in my experience, sometimes you don't always have that. And so um, I say that because you are dealing with people who have been trained professionally to know what happens with skin, what happens with reactions, what certain chemicals do, what even the difference of like, being from out of town and coming into Florida, knowing how to consult somebody on Florida humidity, on the heat here, how that affects how different beauty products work. You know, everybody's gone through training in their respective field for that. So, and for example, um, as a licensed esthetician, you can wax, you can do facials, you can do lashes, you can do lots of different things. But what I do is separate people by specialty. Right. Because for me, that is the point. It's not going in somewhere where everybody can just blanket do one service. It's finding what they specialize in and making them the star of that show. So I can do a bunch of things, but my specialties, I focus in makeup and I focus in lashes. So if you come in with me, you're going to be offered water or wine or champagne Um you're going to already have done a pre-consultation as far as a form. So I know if you're on any medications, if you have anything that I need to inform you, if you have any allergies or things of that nature, when you get in, we're going to have a discussion, a conversation. And it's not an interview. It's really just a personable conversation. Sometimes people don't know what they like. 
but we're usually able to communicate what we don't like, right? So I'm going to find out, even if you're not sure what you want, I'm going to find out what you don't want. Um, I'm going to find out things that you've seen that you do like. What do you like about them? What are you going for? What are the uses? So we're going to have one of those conversations and that is how I'm going to personalize and customize what we're going to do. Depending on the service, you're then going to get wrapped up or laid down and covered in a blanket. Um, you're going to, you're going to, if you have to use the bathroom, you're going to go handle that first. Um, but then we're going to start your service and your service is going to be again, a one-on-one -on -one experience with me. It's not something where I'm juggling multiple people through my chair at one time. It's you are my focus. It's strictly me and you until the service is done. And then once it's done, I always tell my clients the, I think one of the worst feelings is going somewhere, having a service and hating the outcome once it's done. Right. And then you're too nervous to say something because you're like, oh, well, she was so sweet. I don't want to cause a ruckus or I don't want to seem difficult. And then you go home and you wash everything off or you have to do your hair yourself or you have to whatever. And so it's very important to me that at the end of a service, I then have another follow up conversation so that we can make sure that you are happy with what you see, with what you experience, with how you feel, with how you look before leaving and knowing that this is a safe space so that if we need to make some adjustments or any changes, we handle that. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Everything electronically with me, I don't want the focus to be on money or payments when you come in. I want it to be a focus on just the service and the experience. So that stuff is usually handled beforehand or at the very end. Um, most of the time it's already handled before you even come in so that we're not sitting here juggling about money or things like that. Literally the focus is you and the service and in your experience with me. So. So, and so special, so customized. And I do think that now is a good time, Colby. Do you want to just uh, tell our audience about BB's latest award? First of all, congratulations. You, you deserve Thank it. Thank you. Um, South Florida makeup awards, uh, best bridal makeup. That's incredible. Yes. Tell, tell our, our audience what it felt like. I mean, you know, it was amazing because bridal is another category that I kind of just fell into. Um, I didn't go into this industry planning to even do weddings. And now it's probably what I specialize in most. Um, it's what I do the most in my business. Um, it's what I actually enjoy doing the most. There's something so special about being a part of a bride's memories forever and her special day. And um, I think at the South Florida Makeup Awards, it's it's really humbling because you are in a room with all of your peers who are all equally, if not better, more experienced, talented. Um, they've you know, they've, they, they live, eat, sleep, breathe your same life. So they get it in a way that, you know, maybe other people don't. And to just be celebrated and recognized a lot of times in the beauty industry, when you're a beauty professional, you are behind the scenes. It is about making other people the star and, and making them highlighted and them recognized. And a lot of times we're just kind of like the silent people in the back. So having a, being in a room with peers and, being recognized for just doing the work that I love and that I'm passionate about. It was just special. Beautiful. It's special. And it's it's a great feeling to know like, hey, like I'm 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 on the right journey. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and people are receiving it in the way that I that I want them to receive it in. So Good for you. So tell, I know you have a little something for our audience that hasn't come out yet. Um, so we're giving a little uh, gossip. Exclusive, uh, exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. <laughs> to, uh, what do you want to tell our audience? So you guys are the first to hear about it. I haven't announced it yet. Um, I'm going to be in the, we're talking about bridal stuff. Um, there's been so much feedback from both sides in, in bridal. And so I'm going to be, BB Desire Glam will be rolling out um, an ebook and there will be a two part rollout for it. One part is gonna be for my future and potential brides all over. One of the biggest questions I get on day of or in consultations from brides is like, I would have never known to ask these things. How do I know what to stay away from or what to go for? So many people have had unpleasant experiences. So this is just for, like a, a passion love to like, hey, if you are engaged or you plan to be engaged and you're working on getting to the wedding and you're getting ready to start that process, 
here's here's something that can help guide you through what that looks like, what you should pay attention to, what you maybe want to stay away from and questions to ask so that you can just have a better all over overall experience. The second rollout part of that is going to be for my professionals in the beauty industry. And it's just going to be, you know, from the experience that we have gathered over the years of being in this industry, um, it's going to be like an educational rollout for those looking to get into the bridal industry, what you feel like you don't know or how to be more confident in that. How do you transition over into that industry? How to be successful and make six figures in that industry. Wow, that is incredible to open kind of your world of knowledge and share it. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you, guys. Well, congrats on that. We are so thrilled that you came on our show Tell everybody how they can find you, book a service, all of it. Personally, I'm on everything as BB Desire, <laughs> um, but you can also follow the business, um, whether it's Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the socials we are under BB Desire Glam. Um, you can follow there. Also, we're located, if you guys are local to South Florida area, we are at 840 Park Ave. That's Lake Park, Florida, 33403. Um, and the online website is www.bbdesireglam.com, where you can go on there. Um, the email is info at bbdesireglam.com. You can send, I welcome all your questions. Um, or if you're interested in appointments, you can go on there to book or to inquire in 24 to 48 hours, we always do reach back out with a response. So if there's any questions or anything like that, feel free to shoot them over. Definitely our audience, you should definitely book a session. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. So thank bit. you so much. <laughs> thank you guys so much thank for you. having me. This was such a pleasure. Oh.